Hey, before we get into the content of this video, I just wanted you to know that you can find all the processes of these art, art tutorials on portraitartacademy.com. Is it free? No, it costs a little bit of money, but not too much. It's very affordable. Good. Everyone should learn art. Art lasts forever. So that being said, let's get into the video. We're going to talk about breaking parallels. So what is that? Parallels. You can see there's a lot of parallels in this perspective uh, photograph, I think that it is. It's not a drawing. What are the parallel lines? Two lines are considered to be parallel if they lie in the same plane but not intersect. So these are all parallels because they're going all in the exact angle and the horizontal direction. But also sometimes you could consider these things in perspective parallel. See, so they're not lining up in the same angle, but they are in reality. So just because they're in perspective, they would be considered parallels in that sense. Lines in the same direction. Parallel lines move the eyes into a certain direction. So if all parallel lines move from left to right or diagonally across the, the screen, then it, it guides people to just look in that direction and see that there is a movement in the art. Bre breaking parallel lines. Well, direction matters in art. However, if too much is pointing in one direction, a lack of variety may be experienced by the viewer. Breaking these parallel lines, therefore, can add a more interesting approach to composition. So we're all talking about composition here, right? You can create composition by placing certain elements in the, in the canvas or the art piece that you're trying to create. And so the direction that you're creating there really matters. Directly across is one way. Parallel lines can be broken by a line 90 degrees across from it. This breaks it directly, but it can be broken in other ways too. So this is obviously a line that breaks it directly across. Horizontal versus vertical. This is an example of directly breaking vertical parallel lines. So we have all these trees here that are basically parallel lines. They're not exactly the same, but you'd get the picture, right? They're really guiding you to look into these well, rectangular shapes. And so what this hor horizontal um, well, horizon does here is they break it right across, which makes it, which makes it a bit more interesting. But it's still a little flat and boring because it's directly across. There's not really a lot happening. There's not that much movement. This is a very calming image I would say. Then there's non-direct. This is when a line or direction doesn't cross the parallel lines in a precise 90 degree fashion. So for example if you have two vertical ones and this one is diagonal uh, and in a, in, a, in a weird angle across it. Sometimes foreground figures are, are breaking parallel um, parallels as well. Sometimes just a person or an animal or a figure or an object can break parallel lines and make a piece of art more interesting. So here you have these parallel lines that are in perspective. You have these parallel lines that are going up and down vertically. And then you have this person who just kind of breaks across from it. It's great that she puts her foot out. That also shows that this is in the foreground and it's not like lining up with this, which would be a, a, an example of a tangent, something we talked about in the other video. Uh, so yeah, it's creating a sense of depth and it's more interesting to see it. Here are some examples of broken parallels in art. Vertical lines are broken by diagonal ones. So you see all these vertical lines here that kind of guide you and then these diagonal shadows and this thing in the foreground and then there's some other ones that, that will just break that down and so they create a more interesting image. Basically, this is the focal point. Everything kind of directs to it in that sense. Direction can also be broken by a person. So this is, these aren't lines, but you can see that there's a specific direction with these, uh, what are they, robot birds? What is up with these anime artists? Anyway, the robot birds uh, are flying in this direction right here. So just kind of going up in that direction. And so because of this girl and the way she puts out her arm and this dress and, and this hair, it's just breaking this parallel, um, well, this direction <laughs> up. And so it makes it more interesting. 
Here's the bridges. In this example, the bridges serve a purpose, breaking the parallel lines of the tall buildings. So these tall buildings are all very vertical. It's just a big vertical experience where this little person appears in the front and everybody, everything's just overtowering her. And then you have these bridges. Here's an arch too, which makes it a bit more interesting. This one makes it very interesting because it's more diagonal on this one too. So they, they kind of break it down and then it makes it more interesting to, to look at. Did I mention that it was more interesting? <laughs> I keep saying that word. The arches break the vertical lines in this case. See, there's a lot of vertical lines in this. Here, 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 here. There's just so many vertical lines. Uh, but the arches and maybe also this thing in the, in the middle, in the center, uh, break, it, break it up. Uh, maybe this one a little bit too. I didn't indicate that. People break the horizontal lines. Is that is that a word? Horizontal? I think I wrote that wrong. But it's funny, right? Horizontal, vertical and horizontal. Horizontal. Okay, that's better. Horizontal. I'm sorry. Here are the people with their round heads and their shapes break through the horizontal lines of the stairs, the bridge, etc. So you see all these horizontal lines here. Voot, voot, voot. Yeah, this is almost horizontal. The stairs right there. And then you have all these people that break through that. And then these arches as well with it.